Hi. Well, we've finished for the time being anyway with the sutras pertaining to the Adhikara Sutra, Vakisya Tehe Plutu Udataha. Vakisya Tehe Plutu Udataha. Now, the next sutra we're going to discuss is also an Adhikara Sutra, and it begins with the word Atra, Atra, and uh, meaning here. So uh, the question is, where is here? And here is the uh, continuation of the story we've begun earlier of Ru. So it is in the context of enjoining Ru. And uh, just to kind of uh, refresh our memories a little bit, uh, two of the more uh, important salient sutras regarding Ru that we've discussed so far are 8266, 162 in Siddhanta Kalmadi, and uh, 136 of our videos. Sasaju Shoruhu, Sasaju Shoruhu. The second one is 8268. 443 in Siddhanta Kalmadi. And you can see again, just for a reminder, the costs and benefits of uh, the structure of Siddhanta Kalmadi. Um, many benefits, but you can see that these two more essentially sequential sutras are separated by about 300 in uh, Siddhanta Kalmadi. So 8268. Uh, 443 in Siddhanta Kalmadi and our video 137 is a hun, a hun. Now it's maybe the longest video I've done. It's certainly up there. It's essentially 20 minutes, but it is very comprehensive in uh, bringing us to uh, this more intricate, sophisticated, whatever, uh, level of weaving uh, of derivations. So the more, again, the more interested you are in uh, the grammar, uh, getting below the surface into how the grammar is actually works and I ultimately works in our minds, uh, that's a video that is worth uh, refreshing or paying attention to, 137. And especially after the next couple of sutras, uh, which paved the way for a fairly robust uh, set of derivations. So Atra being the, uh, the topic of enjoining Ru. So the sutra itself is 832 in Ashtadhyayi and 136 in Siddhanta Kalmadi. Atra nunasaka purvasya tuva. Atra nunasaka purvasya tuva. Atra anunasaka purvasya tuva. Atra anunasaka purvasya tuva. So Atra here again is referring to enjoining Ru, Ru. Now, uh, Anunasaka, I put it down at the bottom because again, I'm trying to reinforce our intuition. Obviously, off the bat, you're not going to remember all of the sutras and how they fit together, but if you do pay attention to them and at least think about them a little, over time, you will. So this was one of our earliest sutras, 118 in Ashtadhyayi, 9 in Siddhanta Kalmadi, and 6 of our videos. Mukhanasika vachano nunasakaha. Mukhanasika vachano nunasakaha. Mukha nasaka vacha vachaha anunasaka. So Anunasaka is the pronunciation with uh, the no via the nose and mouth together at the same time. That is Anunasaka. 
So the meaning of the sutra is Anunasaka will optionally come in place of the preceding one, meaning the one that precedes Ru. So when you have, uh, uh, again, it's Adhikara, so we don't know the exact situations because it will come down into the sutras that follow. But if you have a Ru enjoined, the vowel before it will be Anunasika, Anunasika, Tuva, but optionally, but optionally. And of course, in uh, commentary, there's all sorts of uh, excitement about why say tu and optionally, but it's saying it will come, but optionally. So that's really all there is to say about this so far. Uh, keep it in mind because we'll come back to it very shortly. Atra nunasaka purvasya tuva. And you may notice the kafpa. Uh, which is uh, is the optional Visarga Sutra that we will come to shortly.